Paella is an easy, impressive one-pot meal that's perfect for summer entertaining, and I'm showing you the best way to make it. This dish is packed with so many flavors. It originated in Spain. It's really versatile and can be customized to your taste. The version we're making today has chorizo, shrimp, and starts with just some good old boneless, skinless chicken breast. First things first, I'm gonna get my chicken marinating. That just starts with some olive oil, a little salt, pepper, and paprika. One thing this dish does not lack is flavor and it gets it from so many areas. And then also some dried oregano. I love this for entertaining because you serve it straight from the dish and it's actually quite an affordable way to feed a lot of people. All right, I'm just gonna keep this refrigerated while we get everything else going. The only thing that is key to a good paella is the rice. It is the main ingredient, again, super affordable. But for this dish, you really wanna choose a short grain rice and it's actually pretty easy to find. This is just in the regular grocery store. Sometimes it's labeled bomba rice or Valencia rice, but it'll usually indicate a short grain rice. Shorter grain rices are a little bit starchier, so they're just gonna come together better and kind of create this just more like creamy consistency. The rice will be labeled on the package, but you can clearly see the difference in a long grain rice and a shorter grain rice. And you really don't wanna rinse it because that starch is what we want, so we don't really wanna get rid of that. All right, let's head to the stove and make the magic happen. When people ask me what is my favorite thing to cook, I can never think of a specific dish, but I always come back to the fact that I love anything that can be made in one pot. Not only does it lend itself to just easy cooking, but it also lends itself to just layers of flavor, which you will watch me build in this one pan. If you don't have a pan big enough, you can totally make the rice and the meat portion separately and then just combine the two. But if you've got something like this, this is perfect. No special paella pan required. Now let's get cooking. Gotta start with a little bit of fat. So we are gonna add in our olive oil. And then we're gonna flavor up our oil with garlic and crushed red pepper. I like for my oil and garlic to heat up together. So it really has time to permeate the oil with flavor. Crushed red pepper. Once that gets going, I'm gonna add in our marinated chicken and sausage. We're gonna let that chicken sear and get a nice crust on it so that it will transfer flavor throughout the dish as well. Chorizo is one of the most flavorful sausages and it just has all these great aromatics that will carry throughout the dish. I'm gonna let the sausage render out some of its fat. You want that good flavorful fat to coat the grains of rice. That's what makes this dish so amazing. We're just looking for some color on the chicken. It does not need to be cooked through by any means at this point because the rice is gonna take about 20 minutes to cook later and everything else will finish cooking through. Before we add in our rice, I'm gonna throw in some aromatics. You gotta have bell pepper and onion. Paella can be as extravagant or budget friendly as you want it to be. We are, of course, choosing a more budget friendly option with just chicken, sausage, and shrimp. But you could always add in scallops or mussels. Pretty much anything goes. You can also make it as spicy or mild as you like. Once your veggies have started to soften and your onions are becoming translucent, you're ready to go on. We've got some good flavorful fat going on in the bottom and we need that to coat the grains of rice. Because this is a short grain and kind of sticky rice, you want to be sure every grain is evenly coated in the fat. That's gonna keep them separated during the cooking process. Otherwise, they would just form one big clump of rice. Just wanna stir that around until every grain is coated. You're also gonna create a little toasty flavor onto the rice. You're gonna kind of get some of that nuttiness and saute the rice for about two to three minutes. You'll see the rice go from fully opaque to starting to get translucent. Next layer is the flavorful broth. We're gonna start by adding in some saffron. Saffron is a key ingredient in paella. It's that expensive Spanish spice at the grocery store, but a little bit goes a long way. It doesn't have a super strong flavor. It's just really aromatic and it lends a beautiful color to the paella. And I'm also throwing in a large bay leaf. After you add in the broth, of course, you wanna use that spoon and scrape up any bits that are stuck to the bottom. It's also just a good way to clean that bottom. You don't wanna to stir too much after you have scraped off the bits. We just kinda of wanna get it in a good layer and leave it alone. If you stir too much, then what you're creating is risotto. You're gonna really activate the starches in that rice and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a pilaf. Before I cover it and let it simmer, I'm gonna stir in some parsley and lemon zest. Once everything is stirred together, just like when you're making a rice pilaf, we're going to bring this back up to a simmer cover it and then just let it simmer on low to medium low and let it go for about 20 minutes or until all that 
liquid is absorbed into the rice. I'll see you soon. Let's do a little check. Oh yes, looking great. I would say about 90% of the liquid has been absorbed. So I'm gonna go in with my shrimp. These are only gonna take about you know, two to three minutes. I'd like to kind of nestle them in there. You can leave the tails on or off. I like to leave them on because I just think it looks pretty, but you definitely want to get them peeled and deveined before going in. All right, just a couple more minutes and paella is done. It is time to feast. It's a party in a pan. I love to wake it back up with a little sprinkle of fresh parsley, and I like a squeeze of lemon over the whole top. You gotta admit, it is way easier than it looks. This is the perfect entertaining dinner and so full of perfect bites. I love to serve it with just a green salad and some crusty bread, and you've got a meal. Creamy, flavorful rice, savory, meaty bits, and that fresh burst from the seafood and lemon. Paella is the perfect summer dish. If you're trying to impress, paella is the perfect dish to do that, and it comes together in one pot in less than an hour. I hope you'll give this recipe a try, and when you do, don't forget to tag me. You're definitely gonna wanna try this. And since work's paying for it. <laughs>